All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use an online graphing calculator uh, to determine these increasing and decreasing intervals and to find local max and min values. All right, in class, I'll show you how to use the Texas Instruments uh, calculators that we have. I'll work with you individually on that. Uh, but here we're going to use Desmos.com, uh, the free graphing calculator, uh, through any browser you want to use. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to use that graphing calculator. We're going to graph this function. Okay, it's a cubic function, f of x equals x cubed minus 7x plus 3. And we can use that to determine all of the stuff that we've been finding recently, the domain and range of the function, the intercepts of the function, the increasing and decreasing intervals, and then the local max and min values. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and go to desmos.com here. All right, and I'm going to put that function in. So we've got x cubed... Uh, let me make that an x cubed, okay? Uh, then we've got minus 7x plus 3, okay? So you can see the function there. Uh, let me get out of this, and you can see the function. We're basically on a, a window from, like, you know, negative 15 to 15, and then it looks like about negative 10 for y up to about, what, 17 looks like. So a, a good enough graphing window. The main thing you want to see is... Um, you want to make sure you see the maximum and minimum values here, okay? Uh, but first, let's go ahead and talk about domain and range. Uh, you can tell by looking, hopefully, that there, there is no denominator here. There is no radical expression. Uh, so the domain, oh, so the domain here is going to be all real numbers and the range is 2, okay? So the, the graph keeps going forever down into the left. It keeps going forever up into the right, Okay. So domain and range are easy to find here. Uh, the intercepts. Now, on, a, on Desmos, if you touch any of the important points, if you click on those with the cursor, so I'm just going to click on this maximum value here, what you're going to see is it's going to show you the key points of the graph. Okay, You're going to see all three x-intercepts. You're going to see the y-intercept here. You're going to see the maximum value and you're going to see the minimum value. So you can see the technology does a lot of work for you. In the Texas Instruments calculator, it's a little harder uh, to do that. There's more of a process, uh, but that's the calculator you'll be using on tests like, you know, the SAT uh, or the AP Calc test. Okay, so you got to know how to do both. Uh, but you can see Desmos is a lot easier here. All right, so the intercepts of the function, again, notice we have three x-intercepts, the first one is at negative, oop, let me get out of that. What happened here? Let's bring that graph back. All right, okay, sorry about that. Um, so over here, the x-intercept is going to be at negative, about negative 2.84. Notice it says round to two places, so negative 2.84 and zero. The next one is going to be at uh, 0 0.44 comma 0 and the last one is going to be at about 2.40 uh, comma 0 so those are the three x-intercepts all right the y-intercept is going to be at 0 comma 3 all right so again it's real easy to pick out these key points from the graph on desmos especially for a function like this all right I'm actually going to skip over the increasing and decreasing intervals for now. Um, I'm going to skip on down to the local max and min values because we're going to use those values to actually show us um, a little more precisely increasing and decreasing, okay? So let's do uh, the local maximum value first, okay? So you can notice here the max, remember, that's always going to be the Y coordinate, the vertical coordinate here. So it's going to be 10.13 approximately. Notice 10.13 here when the x value is negative 1.53, okay? And then the minimum value, let's get out of that, is going to be at about negative 4.13 when x is positive 1.53. Now, the reason I did that first, these x values here are going to be where our intervals uh, for increasing and decreasing change, okay? So let's look at the graph here. This blue part, we're, as we move from left to right, remember we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until we get to this uh, negative 1.528 location for x. Okay, so my first increasing interval is this part from negative infinity all the way to when x is negative 1.53. 
Then I'm de decreasing for this next little interval. And then I start increasing again at 1.53, and that goes all the way to positive infinity. All right? So the only decreasing interval I have here is, is between these two x values. Okay, so from negative 1.53 to 1.53. All right, so again, Desmos, great online calculator. It's just going to show you a lot of these key points um, very, very simply, very easily. Um, when you get into AP Calc, there are some other key points here that you're not going to see on Desmos, and we're going to have to be able to find those another way. Okay, but for now, online, use Desmos. Um, I'll show you the Texas Instruments process and steps in uh, class, um, but that's how you can use uh, technology to make finding increasing, decreasing intervals and max and min values a lot more easily.